Hey guys, welcome back to part three of our login and registration application using Node.js. In the last video, we finished up our registration so we can now uh, register a user. Now we need to work on the login. All right, so we're in the passport documentation here and in the authenticate section, and you can see that we're creating a, a post route to login, and that's what we want to do. All right, because the form that the login form is being submitted to that URL. So let's copy that and we're going to go into routes users. Go down to the bottom here. Paste that in. All right. We can get rid of this stuff here. So what we're doing, we're making a post request to slash login. And then we also have a second parameter of passport dot authenticate. All right. We want to use our local strategy because we're using a local database. All right. Now, before we go on to this, we need to actually include passport. So up at the top here, I'm just going to paste this in. We're including passport as well as uh, local strategy. So get that in there. And then down here, we're going to add a parameter to this authenticate. And this is going to be an object. These are basically like options. So we want to set um, our success. I think it's no, it's not an underscore. It's success redirect. OK, that's going to be slash. And then we're going to have a failure redirect. That's going to be slash users slash login. And then we also want to tell it if we want to use flash messaging. So say failure. Flash. We're going to set that to true. All right. And then down here, all we're going to do is redirect to the dashboard or slash. All right. So everything's going to come from our local strategy, which we're going to create now. If we look at the documentation and let's see. Right here, you see how we have this passport dot use local strategy. We're going to grab that. And we're going to put that right above our login post. All right. So this does two things. It gets the username. It matches what you put in, finds if there's a username that matches, and then it validates the password. All right. Now we're going to do it a little differently. We're not just going to do our finds right here. We're going to call functions that are in the model. All right, so we can actually get rid of all this. Let's put these on the same line. All right, so first thing we'll do is we're going to call a model function called get user by username. Now we haven't created that yet. We'll do that in a second. OK, get user by username, and then that's going to be passed in, obviously, a username and then a function. All right, and for this, we're going to pass in error and user. OK, then we'll check for the error and just throw if there is one. If not, then we're going to check to see if there's not a user, if there's not a match. All right. So we're going to say if not user, then we're going to return done. And we want to say null. And the second parameter should be false. All right. And then the third, we can actually include a message. OK, so we'll say unknown user. All right. Now, if there is a user match, it's going to keep going. So the next thing we want to do is call user dot compare password. OK, so compare password. That's going to get a password user dot password and then a function. We'll say error and also is match. OK, and then let's check for the error. 
and then we're going to check for the match. So we'll say if is match, then we're going to return done. And we'll pass in null and we'll also pass in the user. Okay, that's if there is a match. Else, then we're still going to return done. But the second parameter is going to be false. And we're also going to pass a message. All right. So that should do it. Let's save it. Now we need to create these two functions in the model. All right. So we'll go right under create user. Exports dot get user by username. This is going to take in username and callback. All right, and then in here, all we're going to do is let's create a query. We want where username matches the username that's brought in. All right, and then we simply want to call user dot um, find one. Pass in the query and callback. Now we could have just as well put this user find one in right inside of the route um, right here. But I like to keep all the functions encapsulated in the model. Okay, it just makes for a cleaner application. So the next one we want is compare password. Okay, that's going to take in a candidate password. Okay, so whatever the user types in, it's just going to take in a whoops, what am I? This isn't right. We got to say equal function. Okay. This will be hash and callback. Okay, so in here we're going to have to use bcrypt, so we're going to say, uh, actually, let's grab it from here. So we want this right here. All right, so bcrypt.compare, and we want to pass in the candidate password here, and then the hash, and then I like to call this is match. All right, and then what we can do is just check for the error. And then call back. That'll get past null and is match. And that's it. So so let's save that. And then there's one more thing we have to put in our route file. Uh, we need a serialize and a deserialize function, which I think we can get here. Yeah, right here. Okay, so we'll put this right here. Serialize user uh, and then deserialize user. Instead of calling find by ID, we're going to call uh, a model function. So we're going to change this to um, wait find by ID we'll change it to get user by ID all right and that's going to be a function we create inside of our model so let's save that and then go back to the model and I'm going to copy this okay and this is going to be called get user by ID and that'll take in an ID. And then we can get rid of that. And then let's change this to find by ID. These are all mongoose methods that you see here. All right. And then we just have to pass in the ID and call back. And that's it. So let's say we should now be able to log in, hopefully. Let's restart.
app is not defined. Oh, oh. Since we're using router, this needs to be router. All right, let's try again. All right, so let's go try to log in. We know we have a username, Brad. Put in the password, submit. Missing credentials. Hmm. That's weird. Let me just check the form. Okay, it's going to users login. Oh, I don't have a name field here. This needs to have name, username. And then this one should be name, password. All right, so if we don't put anything in, we get missing credentials. If we put Brad in, which is a valid user, but the wrong password, we get invalid password. If we put Brad with the correct password, I think that's it. Submit. Okay, we still get invalid password. Unless I'm not remembering it right. There we go. Okay. So now we're logged in. We need a way to log out now. All right, we have a logout link and it's going to users slash logout. So let's create a route for that. So we'll go to routes users. Let's go all the way to the bottom. And we're going to say router dot get slash logout. Actually, we don't need next. So what we want to do here, all you have to do to log out is say rec dot log out. OK, and then we'll just send a message. So let's say request dot flash. This will be a success message. OK, and We'll just say you are logged out. All right, and then we'll redirect. Res redirect, and we'll want to go to the login page. All right, let's try it. So we'll save. Now, since we're restarting the server, we're not going to be logged in anymore. All right, so let's try to log in again. And now, since we're logged in, if I click log out, we get logged out. Now, there's no way to actually tell if we're logged in, so we want to change this menu around if we are logged in, okay? If we're logged in, we don't want login, we don't want register. If we're logged out, we don't want to see log out. So what we'll do is let's go to app.js. And I know we said that we weren't going to edit this file anymore, but... It's just one little thing we have to put in. We're going to paste this right inside here with the rest of the global variables. So we're creating one called user. And if the user is there, then we're going to be able to access the, the user from anywhere. And if it's not, then this will just be null. So let's save that. And then what we'll do is go to our layout.handlebars. And we'll go right above login and register. And we'll say if user. So this means if the user is logged in. So what I want to do is say if not user, then we want to show these two links. All right. And then for log out. We want that to be only if the user is logged in. All right, so let's try that. We'll save it. Restart. Okay, we're not going to be logged in now. Whoa, what's this? Close raw block. 
All right, you know what it is? I, I don't think we can use this. So what we'll do is we'll say if user, and then we'll put an else. Okay, so if user, we want to put this down here. All right, and then this we'll grab and we'll put that here because if the user is logged in we want to see the logout if not we want to see these all right so let's try that okay so we're not logged in you can see that um, the logout buttons not here now let's do the same with dashboard actually dashboard should only be there if the user is logged in there we go okay so now log in register all right so let's log in and now we're logged in so we can see dashboard we can also see logout now the last bit of functionality is that we don't want the user to be able to see the dashboard unless they're logged in because right now we can log out and even though it's not here we can still go to the dashboard alright so we want to fix that so let's go to actually let's go to the index route because that's where we're loading the index file so what we want to do is create a function down here and we're going to call it ensure authentication or ensure authenticated all right and what we want to do is we're going to say if rec dot is authenticated then we're going to return next so basically just keep going else then we're going to set a message we'll say request dot flash and this is going to be an error message okay and we'll just say you are not logged in Okay, and then let's do res dot redirect to slash users slash login. All right. Now to to use this in a route, we can just use it as a second parameter. So up here, we're going to say ensure authenticated, just like that. All right, so let's try it. So if I go and reload, we get redirected to uh, the account login. Okay, so if I try to go to localhost 3000, it just brings us here. Now, you might not want to have this um, just because if they just go to that URL, you might not want this. So if you don't, just go ahead and take that out. Okay, so now if I try to go there, we get booted back. All right, so I think we're there. We have a full login and registration system and also authentication and access control. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I will be putting the code for this project on GitHub. Um, if you like my videos, check out eduonics.com. I have, um, I don't know, something like 25 courses there, uh, many of them in JavaScript with Node, Angular, and all that. So check that out. Please leave a, a like, subscribe, a dislike if you didn't like it, and I will see you next time.